I always say Bitcoin is, is kind of the direction board for the crypto market. So whenever Bitcoin is going sideways or up, um, other coins are allowed to shine. When Bitcoin is going down, normally um, tokens are falling much harder. So you can think of a, of a risk curve where you have Bitcoin on the bottom left and all the other altcoins uh, are increasing in risk. But I think uh, um, it's not very suitable these days, as we have seen for the last weeks, for example, that even the blue chips, Bitcoin and Ethereum can fall harder as at some point in time, uh, investors sell what they can, not what they want. And so it makes sense um, to have a more nuanced view on the crypto market as well, as it just have in the traditional asset markets also. People talk about Bitcoin and then just about altcoins. But I think uh, that's a very archaic view of the market, as you don't say, I have the US Treasury market and alt treasuries. So I think um, what, what, what really makes sense that um, you also have a sectorization approach in the crypto market as you have in the equity market for the chick sectors, for example. So we developed a category scheme for the digital asset space. So for example, smart contract platforms, uh, DeFi, media and entertainment, just to bring more transparency into that space. Um, the market is very narrative driven, as you know. So in 2020, we have the DeFi summer. Last year, we had the layer one wars. It was all about killing Eve. And so um, people, especially our clients, appreciate that they now can uh, meet the specific demand of their clients. Um, why shouldn't you apply other standards than in the traditional market yeah, for crypto? And so, um, as I said, um, that's just the beginning. Um, we started with the eight categories. We're also working on the uh, industry groups, sub-industry levels. For example, you have DeFi, but we don't stop there. Um, you have also decentralized exchanges, crypto lenders. So these would be sub-industry groups. And we would split the decentralized exchanges, for example, in automated market makers, in uh, hybrids, cross-chain exchanges, etc. Well, as you can imagine, uh, at the moment we have over 19,000 tokens out there. If we look at Coin Market Cap, and so it's pretty hard to 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 pick the right token. And also uh, keep in mind, if you want to issue an exchange with a product, you have to assess is there a future potential demand. And so with a multi-token basket, for example, on a simple market cap weighted index, uh, you're guaranteed to get the market return. You're buying the winners, you're selling the losers. Uh, and so I always compare that with a kind of a trend follower momentum strategy. So this is easy. Uh, you can hold that product. This could be a core investment and you could use the sectors uh, to play the different narratives. Yeah, so a core satellite approach. Um, just keep it straight and simple and robust and, and do not an, an over optimized thing, I would say. I think what's what's also important to mention that in this space you have to have strong customization capabilities as we don't have any market standards in this space. Yeah, You don't have a cl a standard closing times, standard quotation pairs. Um, so you have to produce your own uh, consolidated taste. Yeah, We do that. You have strong, uh, you have need strong data capabilities as well. And so um, you just can't take an index off the shelf and plug that into your customer's product. So every every index is customized. And maybe that's also important to know for the clients as well.